Hello, uh, welcome to my channel. My name is Craig. Now, I've been busy over the last three or four weeks, very, very busy, uh, closing all the boxes on my guitars, the, the 10 that I said I was going to make this year. So they're all done. I had perfect weather for doing that, which has been uh, lacking in most of the rest of the year. So that part's all done now, so that's, that's a bit of a relief. What I'm up to, though, is to... Uh, I was going to put a fretboard, start putting some fretboards on these guitars. And I have a quite a few fretboards and some different ones. Now, if you want to see me compare these fretboards, they're all about 52 centimetres and almost the same width, I think. And uh, you can get a little bit of an idea of what the different uh, tonewood sounds of a fretboard are, if you are interested. Just let me know in the comments and I'll, uh, I'll do a video on that. Probably in a bit more detail. For the moment though, um, what I'm going to put on Betty Blackwood is this fretboard here. Uh, it's one of my favourite fretboards. It has a whole lot of different names, uh, Granadillo, Coyote, Omega. I guess all different sorts of uh, names from each country it probably belongs to, mostly in Central America. Uh, it's one of my favourite woods. I'm going to use this for my fretboard on Betty Blackwood. Very similar in hardness to most rosewoods it has the rosewood sound as well or tone um, these are work with and i've used a number of fretboards and they, they are very stable so i'm quite happy with using this material here first thing i'm going to do is use this little guide this guide is actually brazilian rosewood uh, I go from about 44 millimeters up to about 55 millimeters at the 14th fret. And the reason I'm using this as a as a template, if you like, is because you see this oily type stuff. Originally, I was hoping that it might not go all the way through, but it looks rather not very nice. So I use it as a template for. Um, making my other fretboards. So these are just some of the other fretboards that I've got. I have about 20, 25 different varieties. Um, so if, if you're interested, let me know in the comments and I'll do a bit of a comparison between them all. It's not that often that you have them available in the same almost the same dimensions at the same time okay so for this one here I'm going to just draw this now I just use the double sided tape from Audi it's you get a I think it's a 55 meters of double sided tape very cheap, I think it's five or dollars or something like that. Now we're not going to use all of this at the same time, we can just put some on here. And just roughly cut out the excess. Spare stuff back on here. Move it later. Now yeah, just press down hard on all of this and let it fold over. And just get some sandpaper. Thank you. 
So once we've done that, just peel off the stuff on the side and uh, just get the end. And we're ready to go. Let's put this on the end. Try and make it sort of level with the base part of it. Let's push it together and we're ready to go. So hopefully that will now I'll put that in the against the side of my bandsaw. It will cut out this straight along there. We'll see how we go. Uh, so here's our fretboard cut out now. It's not absolutely perfect, but it's pretty close. And what I now do, because when I use that white pen, it's going to be a little bit on either side. Well, I'll put the the template on here the white pen is going to be a little bit on either side so that gives me um, room to now flatten that along both sides um, and that should come in really just on the right size so I'm just going to flatten that out now So you can soon see when it's flat that we've basically got dust all over along our sanding surface now. So that's ready to go. We'll just do the same to the other side. Okay, so we have uh, both sides now are nicely flattened out, smoothed out. We're at thickness at 6.5 uh, I have sometimes I've down as low as about 6.1 millimeters but generally they're about 6.5 is what I take and at the, the top here it's about one and three quarters which is about 44.5 millimeters get right on the edge there 44.5 millimeters so that's ready to go now all i have to do i just want to look at this one here and say okay i don't know how well you can see it we've got a little bit of a knot there a bit of a knot there it's not going to make too much of a problem it seems nicer here on this side so i think i'll make this side the side that's going to have the frets on you can't tell on these anyway you we're going to remove some of this material as we're putting a radius on it and maybe it's not so nice at this part here once you remove that material so we have just got to take our chances and see how we go that's that's not bad i think it'll be fine Just putting our fingerboard on the neck just to check. It's absolutely just about spot on. I can feel that these that the fingerboard is meeting the neck just at the right distances along there. That's absolutely perfect. We might uh, just have a little bit of a listen to this one. Um, now, I don't know how well you can pick it up with the, uh, the phone microphone, but um, it's a really nice sound. And if you want me to compare a whole lot of common fingerboard tone woods, 
I'll do that. And rather than compare them just by ear, uh, I could uh, use a spectrum sound analysis and see what the harmonics are like on these, on the different types of uh, fingerboard material. So if you're interested in that, just put it in the comment and, uh, and I can uh, make a video on that. Anyway, thanks for watching on this quick one. See you next time.